AITA for refusing to invite my stepniece to my daughter's Christmas party? For the last two years, my daughter Mia, 10, has had a Christmas party with her friends on the same night I hold an adult Christmas party. This year Mia's party will be a pamper day, followed by a themed dinner party and a movie night sleepover. A couple of weeks ago Mia asked me if she had to invite her stepcousin, Georgia, 11. For context, Mia and Georgia have known each other since they were three quarters. When they were young they would play together but when they got older, not so much. I will say Georgia wanted to play with Mia more than the other way round. As Mia grew out of active games quite young, they still sometimes hang out at family gatherings but there have been a couple of instances where Georgia has had to be told to leave Mia alone because she won't accept that Mia doesn't want to play. Based on this I said Mia doesn't have to invite Georgia to the party. Georgia was invited the past two years because my brother and Syl were coming to the adult party. But that she wasn't allowed to mention the party in front of Georgia because we didn't want her to feel bad. When I sent out invites for my party, Syl called confirming whether there would be a kids party like last year. I said it was never a kids party. It was Mia's party. And yes she would be having some friends over. Syl didn't get the hint and asked what time she should bring Georgia so I told her that we allowed Mia to choose who to invite and she'd only chosen her friends from school. Syl got mad and asked how I could let Mia's cousin exclude her like this. But I said the girls aren't close. And I have no right to dictate who Mia chooses to invite to her own party. I also said that since Georgia would never know about the party, I'm obviously not intentionally hurting anyone. A few days later, Syl called and said Georgia now knew about the party so I had to invite her. I said no, I didn't, and the only person who could have told her was Syl or my brother so I was not going to fall for their poorly contrived way to force an invite. Syl got mad again and said she can't believe that I'm teaching my daughter to be a bully just like me, and that she and my brother wouldn't come to my party and might not come to family Christmas, because they don't want Georgia to be around people who exclude her. I thought she was bluffing and would get over it but my mom has said that my brother told her he's still trying to persuade Syl to come to Christmas because she's still upset that I wasn't making Georgia feel like, part of the family. To me, this has nothing to do with whether Georgia is family. She's not Mia's, friend, and Mia didn't want her there. End of story. My mom said maybe I should just relent. Because Georgia will probably have a terrible time and leave early anyway. And then Syl won't hold it against us. But I don't want to ruin Mia's day to pacify Syl. AITA? Edit. I see a lot of people saying I shouldn't have had the parties on the same day because Georgia would. No she wasn't invited to the other party. But my party is adult only. Georgia would not have been there to know about Mia's party. It's an adult only cocktail party. No kids will be there. I see a lot of adults here seemingly inviting people to their parties that they actually don't. Like, of course. All you need to do is invite people you like to a Christmas party you like. What a BS. NTA. But still is. NTA. I am so confused by these comments calling you the ah op. I applaud you for listening and standing up for your daughter's wishes. Why should she have to invite someone she barely knows and gets along with? To make Georgia and Syl happy? Hell no. You have every right to not allow someone to a party. It just seems like Mia and Georgia are very different young girls who don't really match together. With Mia growing out of things quicker than Georgia and Georgia being told to leave Mia alone. No wonder Mia doesn't want her there. Again you are NTA op. Info. I am confused. Mia will have her party. For which I agree she should invite only whoever she wanted. And at the same day and time you will have your adults only party. 
Georgia is not invited but you invited your sill and brother to your party. How did you think this will go? Please correct me if I didn't understand something. NTA. I for one. Support teaching your children that no means no. And that they don't have to be pressured into doing something they don't want to do. It sucks her feelings were hurt. But you can't always get your way. I'm going NTA. But with the request for info. Are there any other cousins who were, were not invited? I'm an only child and remember having parties where my cousins were not invited because I was the only girl in our family for 20 plus years and the boys didn't want to do chalk art and nail painting. I was invited to our neighbor's birthday party and it was awkward but I chose to go. She turned 5 and I was 8 and her mom didn't want me to feel weird. Incidentally I pinned the tail on that donkey first try because I had great spatial control. If Georgia and Mia's personalities are that different, which I suspect they are, Georgia wouldn't have fun anyway and would feel outcasted. Would you rather she not be invited and save face or go and give ammo for bullying later by the friends? No, I am not off, but I am tired of people making up their own stories instead of giving opinions about the original situation. Not helpful at all. NTA. But having a in Christmas for just adults and a separate party for children that the people invited to the adult party cannot bring their kids to is obviously recipe for disaster. You couldn't have set this up in a more foolish way if you tried. Two separate parties. Same location. Same day as my understanding. Last year's step-niece invited to kids' party and brother, Sil invited to adults. I don't see an issue with Mia setting her own invite list the misstep from my perspective is not. Calling your brother and giving him a heads up. There has been a precedent that Georgia has been invited to the kids' party. My child is roughly the same age and remembers things. If this was him he'd ask if the party was happening. That's him. He understands that he doesn't get to go to everything. Friend groups change. Etc. So anticipating that Georgia would probably find out is realistic. Also, with the parties being the same day, they are probably linked in their minds and think oh we're family. Of course we'll get invited. Hey brother, just want to give you a heads up the invite to our cocktail party are going out this week. This year Mia wants her party to be school friends only and we are supporting her in that decision. Giving you a heads up if she asks you guys about it. As the girls grow older it's natural that they'd gravitate to their own friend groups. Hope you'll be able to make the party. Relationships change. Especially with kids. It's hard when one of the kids likes hanging out the other more. If Syl perceived it that there were no issues with the kids and you perceived it that Mia doesn't want to hang to Georgia as much. This was a natural progression for you and maybe for Syl, brother. This feels like it's coming out of left field. NTA for letting Mia decide her list. But I think you could have managed this better. Especially since this is your brother. Think about if they didn't ask beforehand how it would have played out when they showed up and saw the other party. They'd probably have been hurt and if I was them I would think, we're family. Why wouldn't you let me know? Quote, I understand Syl not wanted to come to your party. She may want to do something WHRH Georgia the day of your party. But her adding Christmas into the mix is manipulative. If it was me. I'd follow up with brother and tell him that you are sorry for not giving them the heads up about Mia's party. These are two separate parties with different guest lists. Years prior, you worked in the list with Mia more and this year she wanted to set it herself and have it just friends. You agree and support that. But looking back, you'd let them know so if Georgia asked, they'd be able to frame it her. Quick question. Is it just me as friends that are going or are there any other kids from your family invited? I mean. Ugh. So on the actual question. NTA. 
Your kid has the right to invite, exclude who she wants. But the planning on this is poor. If you're not wanting Georgia to find out and have her feelings hurt, then don't have them at the same time. Then you're able to say to Syl, no. No children. This is an adult-only cocktail party. Mia is spending the night at a friend's house. If you really wanted to spare George's feelings, and I'm not saying you have to, but you told your daughter to not mention it in front of her so she didn't feel left out. So I'm assuming that's what you were going for. There were logistically a lot better ways to do this. Welcome to R. Am I the asshole? Please view our voting guide here. And remember to use only one judgment in your comment. Op has offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the asshole. I think I might be the asshole because by holding my ground, I may be jeopardizing our whole family's Christmas plans. Help keep the sub engaging. Hash don't downvote assholes. Do upvote interesting posts. Click here for our rules and click here for our FAQ. I am a bot. And this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit if you have any questions or concerns. Contest mode is 1.5 hours long on this post. NTA. It's your daughter's party and she wants her friends. Also you still tried to bully you into inviting her daughter. Info were brother and Syl coming to the adult Christmas party this year prior to the daughter not being invited to the kids party? By 10 your daughter should get to decide who comes to her party or not. However for me it's how you tried to keep it a secret. Because that was only going to end badly. You being the adult and supporting your daughter's decision to keep George off the guest list should have called you Syl and brother and had an adult conversation on why she wasn't invited. It was always going to be a hard conversation so instead you decided to hide it. To me that makes you the ah here. So why ta? Not because Georgia wasn't invited but because of the sneakiness in hiding her not being invited. And asking your daughter to be in on the sneakiness. NTA. In fact. Syl is bullying you to invite Georgia. Would Georgia be oblivious to the fact that Mia doesn't want her there? Unlikely. You did your best to protect both Mia and Georgia and you Syl interfered in that. Mia's party is about friends not family. Good job for advocating for your daughter. NTA. Mia is not responsible for entertaining Georgia. It sounds like your Syl wanted a babysitter for her child and when Mia became unavailable. It ruined her plans. Fuck em. Don't come to either party and if you see them at Christmas then you see them at Christmas. Kids have to be taught that not everyone wants to be around them all the time. Being family isn't a pass. It's mind-boggling to me how often people refuse to see things from others' perspectives. Mia should not be forced to invite Georgia. But, Op put her Syl in the position to be a bad guy by inviting them to the adult party. Where Georgia will realize she was not invited. She even let her Syl believe that Georgia was invited and forced her to ask the question instead of. Op owning their own intent. Op. Next time just reach out and explain Mia's wishes and you are supporting your daughter. Ask if they would still like an invite to the adult-only party. This is family and these are kids. Honestly? I'd have Mia throw a party any other day than this one. From now on, you know it's going to be an issue. If you really feel that Georgia can't be included, it's a lot of turmoil to prove your point. She's been invited the last two years you're asking your Syl, Bill to literally lie to her. She'll surely ask about this year's party. If she asks. It's your choice whether you want to die on this hill. Is it truly going to ruin Mia's day? Or is reality that Mia would prefer not to have Georgia? But it's not like the world is coming to an end. Even if she's a dramatic tween. Were you ever excluded as a child from someone's party? Is that how you want to treat Georgia?
I also think you need to be honest about how you portray Georgia. She won't accept that Mia doesn't want to play. Georgia wanted to play with Mia more than the other way round. Mia grew out of active games quite young. Your judgment is almost visible from here. So, I guess after all that. Yes. Gently. YTA. NTA. Your sill isn't in a good position to accuse you of bullying. Since she's openly trying to bully an invite for her daughter. It's specifically Mia's party, not an open kids party. So Mia can invite whoever she wants. She doesn't want to deal with her cousin. If because of that your brother and Syl don't feel able to attend your Christmas party. That's fine. They don't have to. INFO. Do any of the other adults at your party have kids? And if so are they invited to Mia's party? Edit. Then I say NTA. This isn't an event where families are invited and kids go one place with adults elsewhere. The guests lists aren't connected, same. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.